Hi guys, Young here from Leader Computers and today we're going to have a bit of a look at the FanBuild PA2 and the PA2 kit. The FanBuild PA2 paging gateway has a small compact form factor. It can be powered up via DC or PoE and it has a wide operating temperature and humidity range. You can program it with two different SIP lines and it's got interfaces for a DSS key, uh, which is a button and an LED output, uh, for a passive speaker, a headset, a microphone, a camera. It's got a, a short circuit input and an output interface for triggering things like your door, door strikes, stuff like that. And it's also got a 3.5 mil audio out for passing the audio from the mic to a recording system and it can stream the video via RTSP if you want to uh, collect that on your NVR. The Fanville PA2 is quite a versatile unit. You can make use of the DSS key interface with a LED and a button as well as the SIP registration to use it as a intercom. You can also make use of the short circuit input and output pins to control access control devices. Using the microphone and camera, you can pass your audio and video streams to an NVR for surveillance. And if hooked to external speakers, you could use it for paging announcements via your PBX. If you don't already have existing accessories such as your microphone and speaker modules, there's also the PA2 kit, which includes a camera module, speaker module, microphone module, and a DSS key module, which is essentially a button with a built-in LED. So in the box, we have our quick start guide, the paging gateway itself, as well as our connectors for all of our IO, an earth cable, and a small screwdriver. Next, let's get this hooked up to PoE so we can power it up and have a look at the web interface, start getting it configured. So by default, our Fanville PO2 gateway will be configured with a static address of 192.168.1.128. We can log in with the default username and password of admin admin. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is jump into my network settings and set this one to DHCP so that I can get it talking to my existing network. Okay, now my Fanville PA2 is connected via DHCP. I should be able to pick that up in my 3CX. Here it is. Going to assign this to an extension I already created. And while I wait for that to provision, I'm gonna unbox the PA2 kit accessories and get them connected up to our gateway. So inside the PA2 kit box, we have four main accessories. We've got our quick start guide. And then we have our speaker, our camera, our mic, and our button with an embedded LED. First our mic, microphone unit, 3M double-sided tape, and our cable. We have our speaker. Our speaker unit with our 3M tape. We have our camera. Camera unit and our RJ45 connection. Lastly, our button. All right, so there's our button. And we've got connectors for both our LED as well as the button itself. Okay, so I'm going to connect the microphone, first of all. Next, let's connect our speaker. Next, I'm gonna connect my button along with the LED. Now I'm going to connect my camera using the included RJ45 connection. I'm also going to connect this normally closed 12 volt door strike to demonstrate the door control. 
Our PA2 gateway will require external power for our door strike. Now this can either be provided via the DC pin or via these two input connectors here. In this case, I've got a power pack to provide power via the DC pin. Next, I'm gonna to have to wire our output voltage via our output I.O. connectors. So next I'm going to configure the button connected to my PA2 to dial my X7C handset. So I'm going to set this DSS key 1, which is what the button triggers, to hotkey and I'm going to speed dial 807 and apply that. Next I'm going to jump into our security settings and I'm going to configure how we're going to trigger the door strike for access control. So we can control the door strike based on the closed circuit input. Um, we can also trigger it with uh, URIs or based on the state of the call. But in this case, we're just going to use the DTMF trigger. So we're going to set it so that when we dial 777 on our keypad while we're talking to someone on the door phone, we'll be able to trigger the access control. The other thing I'm going to need to do is enable the camera and tell it that we've hooked up the camera module. So I'm going to change the video to be local, hit apply, and this will reboot our device. So now I've got my PA2 gateway configured. If I press this button, that will dial my extension. I'm able to see the camera. I can now press 777 to trigger the door strike. Now that person can push the door open for the next five seconds. Now my door strike is locked again. So that concludes our unboxing and first look at the Fanville PA2 Gateway. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with your leader account manager.